if you could paint a picture of what creativity looks like, what, what would that painting be? Mine would be a one-eyed monster that's uglier than Godzilla, because creativity is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I don't know how noisy it is in the background. I just know that the noise that is coming out from this beautiful lake right here in North Carolina on a 31-degree morning, the noise is that of beauty. And, and so if, if the furnace inside my RV is going to drive you crazy, I apologize. But um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm here to have a conversation with you while sitting inside this RV. And, and, and I've never done this before in, in the way of sharing messages while I'm locked in between a working camping trip and, and basically a camping trip. And, and what that means is, and, and, and you know, it's happening all over the world. People are buying RVs and, and they go across their countries to, to do a job. And, and so what we do is that we're trying to learn that lifestyle. We're trying to, and, see, and you're pr- pr- basically preparing for the future. Because if, if you take the, the RV camper and all of a sudden life changes and, and you lose your job and you've, you, you can go get another job, but you're going to have to move to it, but you don't want to sell your house. You take the RV to that city and, and, and you live there and you go to work and you come back. That, that's a lifestyle change because your RV is, is that one moment where you could find that peace, love and joy. But it's like, man, I, I, I got to leave again because I, I have to go to work. So we're training ourselves to be RVers that have to go to work. And, and to mentally get prepared for a situation like that. Doesn't mean it's going to happen like right now, but I don't want to lose what it is that I do. Instead of sitting here and, and not having a conversation with you for three or four days, like where the hell is he? What, what happens is, is that it's a working camping trip. You know, put that mindset growing forward. Now, d- does it interfere with me? Oh, oh, wait till you hear what we're talking about today. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I put my truth on paper. And most people would say, uh-uh, no way. How do you do that, man? Aren't you afraid people are going to read it? No, no. Because <laughs> I'll flat out tell you face-to-face you know, what I'm writing about and things like that. And. And, and, and it's using writing as a tool uh, to basically keep your mind, body, and soul cleared. Cleared. Not, I, I, I don't want to have it cleaned up. I just want it cleared. And, and because I, I like chaotic. And, and chaotic gives me an opportunity to find things when I least expect it. So I, chaotic is a cool thing. Just clear a path so that we can move through it. This is the daily mess. The writer in me sits inside this cozy 28-foot RV with his writing hand firmly attached to the physical presence of awareness. Keyword, awareness. The interviews that I have today are still about 90 minutes away, but the writer has no true interest in wanting to make such a connection. It's not laziness, not a lack of willingness, for the writer isn't the podcaster, and yet they are expected to entertain each other with an ongoing ambition. 31 degrees on this second day of February 2022. The writer has camped in much colder weather. The writer also used to take his instruments and paper outside to soak up whatever was moving through the conditions that he was in. Well, with common sense, things have evolved. I don't sit outside on a 31 degree morning. The coldest I've ever done is 17 degrees outside at the picnic table. For the writer right now, these days, when he, he's, he's realized that when he goes outside to write, he's alone. Does, does that happen to you? When you're in your moment of creativity, when you're in your zone, do you ever sit there and realize, wow, I'm alone. I don't like this feeling. Some people do. But there are those moments where you go, crap, I, 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 I could be over there with my coworkers. I, I, I could be there with my wife or my husband. I, I, I could be there with my dog, my child. But I'm choosing instead to be here. I'm alone. And that's what I felt when I was writing outside in the morning, is that I would literally go to the picnic table, no matter what the temperature was outside, while my wife was on the inside of the RV with my dog. And then I would bring my dog out, but she would do nothing but bark. And it's like, you know, as a writer, it's like, oh, crap. And, but the thing is, is that that's what dogs do. So, so riding in the RV, I've had to learn how to do because, you know, when, because I do go into a world of aloneness while I'm riding. But when you're in an RV, working RV, remember, we're working on a camping trip here. You learn to work together. 
And so being with my wife of 29 years is, 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 a, is a moment for me. And while I write, I feel the energy inside this atmosphere. So what are you doing in your life where it's like you don't like it when there are other people around, but yet when you go there, you feel alone? How many times, <laughs> this is a bad comparison. How many times have, have you gone into the bathroom where you're alone and you go, ah, I got to get out of here. I'm taking too much time. I need to go be with somebody. I need, I need to do something. So, so focusing on that, your time of creativity or, or where you're doing your job or your career, whatever you're doing, and you're in a space where you are alone. I mean, so many people like to do that. I, I do. But, but when you're in a moment where you want to be with people, how do you find them? More importantly, are they the right people you want to be with? Because if they're not, you've got a new chill in your life and you've got to become aware of how you're going to handle that situation. The moment you open yourself up to people that you really don't want to be with, that's when you have to make a decision. How am I going to handle the rest of my day? Because this moment right now feels absolutely uncomfortable. How am I going to move through this? Now, let's go back to the writer versus the podcaster. The writer is in his zone, the personality of the writer. And, and the thought of doing the, the interviews that, that, that I do and I'm blessed with, the writer needs to go away. The writer has already prepared you know, the, the, you know, the, the scripts and the questions and stuff like that. But the performer needs to step up and doesn't need the weight of the writer to be anywhere near him. So I really do put a separation between church and state. And the reason why is because the writer is in a mood. The writer is always in some sort of emotion where the performer knows I've got to act this way. And if I don't act this way and ask this way, then I'm going to have a bad conversation with the people that I'm having a conversation with. So, so, you know, and, and so we're going deeper into this in, in the way of, okay, first we're talking about how there's, there's a family member you'd want to be with or a coworker. Now we're talking about, do you even want to be with yourself? Where do you go when you want to call upon yourself or where you want to stay completely away from yourself? How do you deal with those mindsets? And so many times people go, I'm just not having a good day. This is where I step in. Why aren't you having a good day? What was your choice? What led you to this position of thought? And that's where you've got to be able to say, okay, this is where I need to work. This is where I need to understand the process of what it is that I'm growing with. See, a lot of us, they, we, we claim to like ourselves, but do you? During those moments where you don't even want to be near yourself, how do you deal with that? Do you wash it away with alcohol? Do you take pills? Do you go get a Red Bull? Do you try to put yourself in a position of, I don't have to be me because that's my choice? <sighs> We've all been there. And we keep going back. Through awareness, we're able to meet the need without destroying the path. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.